Hey y'all, it's Crafty Kelly here with another video. Well, today I'm going to do a marker swatch. Um, I did a video a couple days ago, or I posted a video a couple days ago, uh, from a haul that I got, and I got these uh, shuttle art markers. And so, I'm going to swatch them today. So, hopefully you'll like it, and... Uh, Maybe go out and buy some of these for yourself. So, let's get to it. I'm going to swatch them in this book. It's uh, Color Charts by Yasmin Eldahan. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't want to butcher someone's name. But yeah, I have several markers swatched in here. and I haven't filled out the tabs. Just the one that I'm doing today. And so, how I do it is I write down... Hopefully you can see that. I write down how many and then what they are. So they're shuttle art alcohol markers. So then I write down the day that I swatch them, which is today. So hopefully this video will go up today. Okay. So they do not have like, I don't know, like a, like they don't go exactly in order. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They skip around, so it went like from one, two, three, you know, five, six, nine. So I just wrote them down in the order, you know, in the best number order I could until I got to the ones with letters and I try to put them in alphabetical order. So I'm not going to write down the colors. I just write down the numbers. I don't have all that time to sit there and write them, them words on there and make them small. And so I just write the numbers. And so if I want to go to use them, then I can just look up the number so number one is wine red so i know that when i'm coloring that's what it says it is but this looks brown the tip of it looks really brown so i don't know what it's gonna look like so this one these markers have a fine side and a broad side i'm just gonna swatch with the fine side and so when i swatch the markers what they look like on the inside I just I don't really color the whole thing and I just I just swatch it you know just a little swatch and that's it and then I'll just throw it in my thing so I'm just gonna pick random numbers and just fill up this whole page go ahead and put it on fast forward and because I'm sure I won't have a lot of stuff to talk about but we'll try to get this over with and so 25 is pink salmon. Let's see. So that's that's a nice color. So like these here, there's only 45 spaces. And so instead of using another whole page for like five of them, I just put, double them up. You know, I do that with I do that with all of them. Like all my markers, see? Like here I did the same thing. These are my Ohuhu Pastel alcohol brush tip markers, 48 count. And so I wasn't going to just put four on the next page. So I just doubled them up. It's It saves me pages so I can put more in here. Next one is 35 yellow. Let's get you in focus. Like, in, in the thing so you guys can see sorry about that i'm using my phone instead of my gopro so this one's 38 pale yellow can you see that yeah so i'm off work today I'm, i work part-time so i'm off on fridays so i was like what can i do to pass some time i figured let's make a video oops wrong side well that's the broad side if you want to see what they look like, what that looks like. Oh, sorry. Still getting used to this frame. What number was that? 55. Right? Yeah. And so I have this piece on the back here. So it doesn't bleed through on my next page. Alright. 59 is lime green. Have y'all bought any good stuff lately? I cannot watch YouTube. Y'all are a bunch of enablers. I swear. 
every time I watch a video, it's like, oh, gotta run to Amazon and grab some stuff. <laughs> so this one is green, just says regular green. This 65 is turquoise. They look, it looks like they're swatching pretty good. I mean, they're no Copics or anything, but they they do like what every other, you know, this Amazon paper, what, what they all do. They didn't look too bad. 23 is orange. Boy, that's really scuffed up up there. So, I went to Michael's yesterday when I got off work. Because Michael's is having a sale on Copic markers. Um, buy one, get one 50% off. So, basically, you're spending like $5 a piece for the markers versus like 8 So, I'm like, okay. So, I go and I buy some. And they're behind glass and stuff. So, you have to like go get someone to unlock it and then they don't let you pick out your own you gotta tell them which ones that you want and then they get them out for you well i didn't realize that the lady got me two orange ones of the same color so when i get home i'm looking i'm like why do i have two of these so now i have to go back and return the one orange that i don't need and see if they'll exchange it for a different one. So I, I hope they will. I don't I haven't really returned anything to Michaels before, so I don't know. I'm sure they will. I have the receipt, so it's not like it doesn't work or anything. It's like the marker's not dried out. It's not like I had it for a month or so. So but yeah, so I saw these markers on Amazon when I was shopping. And I have the Shuttle Art water-based markers. And they're, and they're okay. So, I didn't know they had alcohol markers. And I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> let me get those. Okay, so when I'm on this little part here where the double is, I just swatch it on the one half. So, see how that number is on the top half? So, then I do the top half. And that number is on the bottom half. I'll do that bo the bottom number there. So, yeah, I think... I, I don't know. I have a lot of alcohol markers. Like, I have different brands. Mostly from Amazon. BG5. BG5. And so... Oh, dang. Would they glue that shut? Goodness. So, I, I don't know which one would be my favorite, but I, I don't know if you've heard of this brand. It's called, hold on, let me show you. It's called Maymoy. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Out of all the cheapies that I have, you know, the oh hoo hoos the, you know, Shuttle Art, some just random no-names, I really like these. I got the 61, and I have an 81 an 80 piece um this one is i think brush marker yeah this one is sorry it's for shaking earthquake this one has brush tip and the broad tip my other ones have the fine tip and the broad tip but i really like these if you're looking for a cheap marker but a good one these are these are nice they're may i guess may moy that's how i call that's what i call them so, i don't know I could be saying it wrong, but, but yeah, I really like those. I mean, there are no Copics or anything, you know, nothing beats the Copic, but, sorry, but they're pretty good. I like them. I like the way they color, especially in the Color by Colors book. Um, those are, they work really good in those books, so, BG1. Ooh, that's a light blue-gray, yeah, I like that, but, yeah. If you want my opinion, those those are really nice. Oh wow. That's a nice color. What do they call this? A Zales purple. Alright, well. Cool. Oh damn. This new setup, I swear. 
It's going to be the death of me. Y'all are going to get dizzy and not want to watch any of my videos. <laughs> Which will totally depress me. But, oops, I don't want, oh, I could use that side. You can use any side. It doesn't really matter. They aren't bleeding a lot. I mean, they are a little, but for the most part, you know, they're all right. That's one thing about alcohol markers that I can't get used to, especially on like the cheap paper. They bleed so much. You can't, you can't barely get to the edge when you got these thin lines. 54. Because then you look like a, for, uh, a preschooler colored it. Like all out of the lines and stuff. 41 olive yellow. Hope everybody's doing good. Not sweating too bad. And it is hot. I live in Missouri. And it it was hot yesterday. It got up to like 99. I think. It was it was hot. I was not happy. Thank goodness I leave work at noon because I would have died because they don't have air conditioning in the warehouse that I work in. So I'd have been a big puddle on the floor. That's a nice red. They call it geranium. Geranium. Isn't that a flower? Geranium. Yeah. I think it's a flower. 122. Or no. 123. Ooh, that's like a fluorescent one. Ooh, that's bright. Yep, fluorescent yellow. Pastel peach. That looks more pastel peach than that one, but oh well. Who renamed these colors? French Vermilion. Twenty-two. Oops. That was smooth like butter. Huh. 76 sky blue so I don't know what my next video will be but I still have more things to swatch and I need to show like all the pages that I colored since April I filmed one for April, May, April and May, but something happened to the video and it didn't like play right. So I was like, I am not about to redo uh, that video. So I'm just, cause I didn't color a lot in June. So I'm just going to do all my coloring pages that I colored within those few months. I think I'll, I think I'll do that. Oh man. I think I'll do that. Sometime this coming week, maybe. And then I need to do coloring book hauls because I bought a lot of coloring books these past few months. Like, you just don't even know. My boyfriend is tired of me having packages delivered to the house. It's like, Amazon should know my first name. <laughs> we should be on first name basis, you know. Uh. Can't help it. I love getting mail and I love buying stuff. It's just like shopping therapy. You know, it's I don't go to phys or physical therapy. I don't go to mental therapy. So I need some kind of like outlet. And so I like to shop. And I love getting stuff in the mail. I love going to the store. You name it. I like to do it shopping anywhere. Cherry pink. Some of these colors are really, really nice. I really like them. Like, that one's nice. Carmine. Too bad you can't listen to, like, music while we do this. Because the silence is just, you know... I'm trying to think of something to talk about. My, my life's kind of boring. You know, I don't do much. I go to work, come home. 
you know, watch TV and stuff. I've been watching Big the new season of Big Brother. I don't know if y'all are fans of that, but that's the only reality show that I watch. And it's pretty good. The number uh, Big Brother 23. Colorless Blender. It's colorless, so I'm not going to swatch it. So, but I love Big Brother 23. So I don't know if I got you if any of you are fans of it or I guess that's a nine. But I enjoy it. So I watch that on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And I just watched it last night because it's Friday when I film this. So I really enjoy that. It's kind of interesting. I don't know how much of it is staged or how much of it is you know, real, I, it's just for, like, entertainment purposes, you know, because I don't have much going on in my life, so it's fun to watch drama and other things, you know, which I'm thankful that I don't have a lot of drama, because that would just be miserable, but, damn, I keep hitting this, you guys are gonna get a headache, sorry about that, the markers keep hitting the camera, 83, so, if any of y'all watch uh, Big Brother, leave some, I don't know what you think about it, in the comments. Let me know if I have any viewers that watch my videos that like Big Brother. But, spoiler alert, Brent got kicked off yesterday. And he, I don't know why, I don't know why really, I mean... Everybody talks crap on this show. Like, nobody's telling the truth about what they do for a living. Like, X, he's a lawyer. He's telling him he's a model. And Sarah Beth is, like, something with forensics. And she's telling him she's a voice actor, actress, or whatever. So, nobody's really being truthful on this show. So, I don't know why they had a problem with Brent. I didn't really have a problem. You know. But I don't know why they kicked him out. Everybody talks shit. Even when Frenchie was there. He's the first one. Or the second one that got voted off. And he was talking stuff. Promising everybody. That he wasn't going to evict them. And I'm like. Dude. Who are you going to evict? You're a head of household. You don't promise everybody that they were safe. That was hilarious. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like. Oh right. You should just kept your mouth shut. And just. Hi, how are you? You know, don't be like, oh yeah, you guys are safe. And no women's getting voted off. And I'm just like, oh boy, here we go. Well, needless to say, he's gone. He was the second person to leave. Um, I knew he was going to go. He was starting to get on to my nerves. But it's entertaining. Just a little bit of drama. <laughs> Got a few more to go. Oh, black. 120. But I don't know if you guys like to swatch your stuff. But I think it's helpful like when you're coloring. And I do a lot of color by numbers. Because it's, it's just effortless. You don't have to think of like, any color scheme or anything like that. You can just color. You just color and go. And you just pick what they have and you go. Well, I mean, you can switch it up a bit. I do sometimes. Like on my Cheap Girls book, I don't always use the peach color that they call for. I have a, I have the Ohuhu um, skin tones that I use. And I just, just pick anyone that looks good with the theme that's going on. You know, whether it's dark, light, peach. I don't care. I just, I pick it. And then sometimes I change their hair color because sometimes it doesn't look right. Just have blondes and, and peach skin all through your book. That's not very diverse. So... I just, I tweaked that a little bit. WG5. So. But that, I like that. But then when you're you're doing like the color by colors, you gotta try to find one that matches, you know, closely to the line that it's outlined. And it just helps to have the colors already swatched out. So you kind of know, oh, okay, that doesn't look good. That doesn't, ooh, that one looks, you know, so you can pick. But. But, yeah, so, I thought somebody was coming. But, uh, yeah, so. I kind of like to have this done. So that when I do color by numbers, I can pick. Like, my color by colors 
since it's the same um it's the same color uh choices in every book so i wrote down what i use you know like what i use what brand i use for what color i'll show you guys real quick let me so i made a column and so this is just color by colors and i have the ohuhu's the mamoy's that's the pastel ohuhu's the copic and the tower trees so for these colors, it's mainly oh, um, Ohuhu and Mamoys. But you know what? The Mamoys and the Ohuhu ones that I have are the same. Like, they have the same numbers. Same color and everything. So I don't know why I didn't notice that before. But <sighs> but anyway, so then when you get onto the second part of the colors, then I break into like Copics, Toe Trees, the Pastels and stuff. So. so that's what I do for that. And then I also do one for... No. Oh yeah, Animal Mosaics. I have it. I use the Ohuhu markers, and I just they have numbers one through twenty two, and I just wrote down which marker I use for each number, because it's just easier for me that way. And then that's what I'm doing in my, one of my other books. But here I did this one for Color Questopia. I used all my Copics for that one, so I can just. Add, if I want to use different markers next time, I can just write down what I use for each one. And then I'm doing this, the color by number mandalas. I did tower tree markers. And, yeah. So, yep. That's how I, that's what I do. So I don't have to keep trying to find them every time, you know, because it gets old. I'm trying to look for the ones that you need. So, G. What is it? GG5. That one's like a green, green, green. What's that? What's a GG? Green, green? Green, gray, maybe? Gray, green? Something like that. Warm, gray. Five. So is it, yeah, it's probably green, gray. Hmm, like that. I think I got one more. Yeah. I'm st st stuck. Cool gray. Oh, that's not going to work in that little space. Alright, so that's the last. Hopefully you sped that up so you didn't have to listen to me carry on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So there's the colors of all the markers. They look pretty good. I like them, you know. Yeah, they're vibrant. And there's a lot of choices, like a lot of greens and a few blues. and Not a lot of purples, but that could, you know, you could probably make them work. You know, they might not be exact, but close enough. Got some reds and some oranges. But yeah, nice. Oh, look at all the bleed through. Hm. Glad I put that thing under there. But yeah, I need to finish neat labeling all those. I don't have a lot of Copics. Where are my Copics? Where did I put them? That's my Here they are. These are all the Copics that I have. I don't have a lot. I have more I need to add. But I might just rip this page out and do another one because I have more than this to add. So we'll see. Plus stuff bled on it. I don't know. I guess it was from. Couldn't have been from those. Because I did these after those. I don't know. Or maybe it was on the page. When I did it. But yeah. I don't know. But uh, if you want this book. I got this on Amazon. Um, she's got other ones too. She's got one that's. That's bigger. Like this one. It's huge. I haven't done anything in this one, but it's still by the same person, but these are what the pages look like. So, yeah, it's it's nice. I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet, because you only get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 3. You only get 24 squares, but you could always cut them in half, and you can even cut them in fourths, you know, because you don't need a lot of space, so you could just put an x in the middle and you have four there and you've got four lines so 
You can always do it that way too. Anything in the back? Oh, she's got, there was like a coloring page. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so if you like this book, I got this one. It's called the Extra Large Color Collection Edition. And then this is just a regular color collection edition. So, I don't know. If you like them on Amazon, they're pretty uh, handy. So, well, that's the end of this video. I hope you like it. And if you do, please, um, did I use this one? I found it just randomly laying there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I must have just been talking and put it to the wrong side. Anyway, if, <laughs> sorry, squirrel. Um, if you like my video, please subscribe and like. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, I will answer to the best, you know, the best that I could do. You know, I'm not the, or the I'm not um, perfect at coloring. I just, I just like it. It's just, um, you know, it's relaxing. I don't, I'm not like, you know, like some colors, you know, they just, they make it look like art. Like they actually like drew the picture. I'm like, dude, how do you do that? The shading and everything, it makes it look lifelike. When, <laughs> when I color some, it looks like an elementary student did it. I mean, it's good. It's in the lines, but it's not like... There is no shading, no nothing. That's why I mostly do color by numbers and stuff. Because it's just, you don't have to shade or nothing. You just color. <laughs> anyway, that's all my rambling for today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.